Hello and greetings to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wendy coming to you refreshed, rejuvenated, rest restored in my soul from Psalms 23. The Lord shall restore your soul. <clears throat> And lead you to the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen. I want to thank you, everyone, for all of your prayers and what happens is a mere memory now. It um King Yeshua gave me such a wonderful rest with him. And there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it to have a rest with him. And while you're on that rest, or while I was on his rest, I don't look at any messages. I don't um, look at anything. I didn't look at anything pertaining to comments or messages. And uh, I only went on YouTube to play my worship songs for our great Jehovah God. And there's just nothing like being in the arms of King Yeshua in his rest. And just complete peace. And it was just lovely. And he's so kind and gentle. And there's my dog coughing again because he just drank water. Um, words just can't explain how peaceful and wonderful it was. And I pray that Whenever he calls you to a rest, I don't know. I know my walk with him. Uh, he calls me to rest. But if he ever calls you to a rest, embrace him. Forgo everything in the world and just spend time. Lovely, lovely, lovely time with your Savior. And enjoy being in his presence the whole time. Because he is right there with you. And I'd like to give you Romans chapter 10. If, if someone is listening that does not know who our precious Savior is. Our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Please. He's reaching out his arms to everyone. He loves all of his creation. And he wishes none to perish. Read Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and 10. And that is how you invite King Yeshua into your heart. To live with you. To sup with you. To abide with you. And you must come to him with a complete, repentant, sincere heart, ready to confess all of your sins. And we are all sinners, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And he is faithful, and he is just to forgive us our sins. He is righteous and true and he is in one of the New Testament chapters it says that Christ we are hidden Christ and Christ is our life how wonderful and awesome Christ is our life 
King Yeshua is my life. I have given all to him. And I regret none of it. I try to live for him. To pick up my cross every day. And. But you can't do it yourself. He has to be the one that leads you and guides you. He has to be the one that gives you what you need. That by the power of the Holy Spirit, you deny your flesh. For you do not walk in your flesh, you walk in the Spirit who also leads and guides you down King Yeshua's wonderful and very narrow path. And yes, it's an isolated walk. Not many people want the walk, but I would, I would trade nothing for it. I would never go back. Because he is my faithful king, mighty and true. And he is my happiness. He is my joy. My peace and my contentment. Everything. He is my everything. My all in all. I love him so much. I don't think I could be able to breathe without him. Of course, he is my every breath. But in a, another term, in another sense, I wouldn't be able to live without my Savior. It would kill my heart. It would absolutely kill my heart. Because King Yeshua is my heart. And I would be nothing without him. Nothing. So I have a few things to tell you um, about a dream that I was given. A most wonderful, awesome dream. And it's not prophetic or anything. It's, I think it was... The first night that I was on King Yeshua's rest, and uh, I call it the latter rain dream, I had woken up in the dream I was in asleep in bed in, in someone else's room. I have no idea where I was, but I was by myself and in someone else's house, room, whatnot didn't recognize it and I woke up and I don't remember what I was thinking but all of a sudden I felt raindrops on my face and I kept feeling it and it kept getting more and more more and more rain falling upon me until all of a sudden it was like a big huge gush that fell on top of my head and it felt like rain and it was such an amazing experience when I went to touch the back of my hair it was dry so it was <laughs> it was really really neat having that rain God's rain pour over me such an amazing experience we have an amazing God that loves us with all of his heart because when I was on King Yeshua's rest he had me reading uh, Jeremiah Eli uh, Elijah uh, Isaiah let me go back Isaiah Elijah and Daniel I think that's the main three. 
but what I saw, especially in Isaiah and Jeremiah, is God's heart. It talks about God's heart. I never realized there were so many scriptures in there about his heart. Not our heart, but his heart. How his heart hurt the way Israel and Judah betrayed him and treated him treacherously. And it hurt my heart to read it. And I just saw how much he hurt as people turned away from him, his chosen people turned away from him. And that's what I got. And then at the ending of Jeremiah, it shows after the captivity of Babylon, uh, you know, Babylon uh, capturing Judah, the remnant that was left behind, he takes care of them. He takes care of them. He's just so amazing and so wonderful. Words can't describe our lovely and wonderful God. You can't measure his love. And you certainly can't tell one, one second from another what he's going to do. He's full of surprises. Wonderful surprises. And... Father Yahweh, the Father of lights, he gives good gifts to his children. Gifts and presents and surprises and blessings. Praise our wonderful and glorious God. God Jehovah. And I saw his name Jehovah several times as I was reading Isaiah and Jeremiah and I was thrilled I didn't realize that was his name Jehovah was in there so many times either and I just found out a lot that I didn't know and it was an amazing experience and um, I have some notes here because my mind scatters so much sometimes I can't bring all my thoughts together. Okay, I told you about the, the latter rain. Oh, I interrupted myself. Okay. In the dream of the latter rain, after I had received that rain upon my head, there was, I had my arms out in front of me, and all of a sudden, there was something that grabbed a hold of my arms. And for a split second, I saw that I was full of light. Just much light. And when that something grabbed a hold of my arms, I screamed. And then it, it went away all of a sudden. It just went away. And I think that was... I didn't wake up at that moment when I screamed, but I think a few seconds after that, after I calmed down, because in the dream I was no longer scared, then I woke up. And so I was talking to it <clears throat> about this dream with King Yeshua, and he said that I was so full of his power in the dream that whatever was holding my arms couldn't withstand me. And this is signifying the holy power from on high that his faithful shall receive. So whenever God 
grants us and gifts us his full his full holy power what he's been telling us that he's going to give his faithful um that no being i assume this was a an evil being can withstand us they can't be around us i guess because king yeshua is so powerfully in us it's, it's just so amazing to even think about but but that's the dream that I was given like I said I think it was the first night that I was on his rest so with that being said um, we're not going to have any music in these in this video at least King Yeshua said he'll let me know whenever he wants me to have the music so at this point let us praise our wonderful and mighty and glorious God our holy mighty and true faithful Jehovah God Almighty how I love you how I thank you so much for your beautiful son's rest I know your word talks about rest and oh how beautiful it is how peaceful how wonderful it was to rest in your son's mighty arms his everlasting arms his loving arms I enjoyed every moment of it father thank you for this beautiful day it is pretty beautiful outside blue sky and a little little cold but not too cold and a little windy but it's just beautiful outside thank you for your beautiful days and for painting the sky. Your wonders will never cease. You are amazing. And I love you so much. Your beautiful Holy Spirit, the power from on high, and your beautiful son, King Yeshua HaMashiach, that takes me by the hand and leads me to his path of righteousness for his name's sake. My good shepherd, more than a best friend, my confidant, and so much closer than that. He is my everything. Thank you for sending him to die for the world's sins. Thank you, Father, for your love for all of your creation. I love you so much. I worship you. I fall down on my knees and I bow down to you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I will always bow down to you. You are my Papa Yahweh, Father of all fathers, Papa of all Papas. And you take such good care of me and your faithful. And you hide us under your wings. I desperately love you. And I can never live without you.
Father, I pray with everything coming up and only you know, for you know all things, that not many people will take that horrible mark of the beast. Not many people at all. I pray against every evil plan the enemy has in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I pray against every evil that the enemy has conjured up in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I love you so much. I praise you. May my life glorify you, Father. May your faithful lives glorify you. May we all be one in your precious Son, King Yeshua, in unity, in bride, the bridal unity. I worship you. I glorify you. And I exalt you. In the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen. Okay, so here's a vision. First, I received this vision. During night prayer on February, February 5th, 2016, I see people going two different directions in escalators, and the escalators were packed. In one escalator, I was shown was gradually going up to heaven, and it was going to the right. And the other escalator was going to the left, and it went a little further on its path. Then all of a sudden, it dropped off, and the people were falling down into the depths of hell. And whenever I typed up the vision, King Yeshua wanted me to add this scripture to it. Matthew 25, 31-46 When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with Him, then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory. And before Him shall be gathered all nations, and He shall separate them one from another. As a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was an hungred, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee an hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in, naked, and ye clothed me not sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee an hungred, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did not as, wait a minute, excuse me, inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, 
ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Okay, please take this word into prayer. 1 John 2, 1 through 3. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 7.13 a.m. on 10 February 2016. Daughter of Zion, and of mine own heart, write Father Yahweh, Elohim, Eternal's words for all to hear, see, experience, and obey. It has been a while now, but my daughter is now refreshed and ready to have her second season of this ministry. There are going to be three messages in a day for my children of earth to read and comprehend. There will be times when she will not get to many of the comments and emails in a timely manner. She will write my perfect words, and she will write what I give her in visions. She will not be available for any opinions or what she thinks about what I have given her in a message. She will only know what I tell her. These messages may turn many away, as they may not be popular with my children. I have instructed her to only say what I tell her. Now that I have laid out the foundation, I will begin my first message. Children of the earth, as you are calculating in your heads how many years the tribulation is going to be, I will tell you some things. It is of the utmost importance that you are in my holy scriptures every day in order for you not to be deceived in what is coming. For to know my word is nourishment to your bones and is meat for you to digest. It will help you to know what is evil and directly from the enemy and what my word says, which is true. My perfect and inerrant words are true. My son is so busy right now trying to get this last generation of my people in God's holy word. It will save you from making dark errors and from following the voice of my enemy. For it is written that I, Jehovah God, am going to allow Satan a little, so very little time, to wear out the saints. It will be oh so important for my people to know not to take the mark of the beast. It will be so important to know that Satan is the great liar and deceiver, and he will have some of my creation to do his bidding. My children of earth, time is slipping away for my indignation to be poured out. Listen to my son. Hear his knocks on your heart. Allow him to come in and sup with you. Ask sincerely for his forgiveness. Live for him and be saved from my wrath. Father Yahweh, eternal, mighty, and true, has spoken. And I will leave you with God's blessings to all of his children. And that's in Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. I have not memorized it yet. <laughs> and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. In the holy, mighty, perfect and most wonderful name, King Yeshua. Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and Shalom.